Hey, I'm here by myself again because I'm doing a birthday haul. I got quite a few books, a couple other things, but I'm not going to include them just because they're not book related, but thought I'd show you all that I got that is book related and it is exclusively comic books because that's what I wanted this year. So uh, on the actual day of my birth, uh, we were in Austin getting two of Sarah's rats spayed. Uh, so when we go to Austin, we try and go to this really great little comic book store. It is called, oh my God, I'll cut this, called Titan Moon Comics. It's really great. It's very tiny, but it has pretty cool stuff. They have a lot of back issue comics, super heavily discounted. They, I believe, have an online store at titanmooncomics.com. Uh, let me actually look on the back. Yeah, titanmooncomics.com. They have a really great rewards policy. You get points for your birthday and for everything you purchase, and the points really quickly add up to money off. So honestly, I would highly recommend, even if you aren't in Texas, but if you are in the Austin area, I really, really love that store. It has just a whole lot of great stuff. They also have cards and other things. I got some Disney Lorcana cards there, which was one of the other things I got for my birthday but I don't have my binder or anything, so I'm not gonna show you. But I do wanna start with uh, a couple of the things that I got there. Sarah actually bought me a few things. That was her plan for me for my, my actual birthday was that she was going to uh, bring me to the comic book store and be like, get whatever you want. And I also had some points for, uh, I forgot, I'm so sad, I forgot one of these books in my big mega picture of all the things that I got for my birthday. But technically I bought this for myself, so it's okay they left it off. But anyway, Sarah bought me some comic books and she also got me some Disney cards. But I wanna start with this one. Technically I got with the coupon I had for my birthday, which was entire $25 off by the way. So I got this hardcover. It's volume two of World's Finest by Mark Wade with art by Dan Mora, who I, think is absolutely an amazing artist. Uh, I've I've seen a lot of his stuff lately. He seems to be uh, getting more popular and his work is just gorgeous. He does a lot of Batman, Superman stuff, obviously, like here's Clark. It's just, it's immaculate. It's so good. And the story is also good. I'm going to do a birthday wrap up. I don't know when I'll post that, but I, I did read almost every single book in this pile. And uh, I highly recommend this. The hardcover of volume one is sold out, but they're about to re-release it as a paperback. So I don't have <laughs> the first one, so I'm gonna have a mismatch series, which I'm trying to come to terms with. But uh, this is the first thing I got in hardcover in the store, and it was very fun. I highly recommend it if you like Batman and Superman, especially together, because they're just a really fun contrast. Next, I got uh, four single issues just because I have a wall I'm going to do in my room where I'm going to uh, hang up single issue comic books as like a display piece. And I keep saying I'm going to do it and I don't know when I'm going to do it, but Sarah bought me all of these. Number one, I have another World's Finest from one of, I think this week's or that week's issue. But there's this, which is gorgeous. I'm obsessed with Bizarro Superman. So I saw this. Oh, that reflection's super good. That's fine. I, I have a thing for Bizarro. So I got this because it looked interesting. I actually have quite a few floppies right in front of me, but it would take a really long time to show you all of them. So, I mean, maybe I'll do a video for it and show you every single one of them before I pick and choose which ones are going to go on my wall because it cannot be all of them, but that's for later. I also got Batman 144, but the Chip Zdarsky run, which is really, really great. It's, I think, it'd probably be a good place to jump off if you're trying to get into Batman. It's a little hard sometimes, as I've said before, to find a spot to jump in, but uh, the volume one for Chip, Chip Zdarsky is pretty decent. I got this, which I just thought was cool. And finally, this is a book I hate, but it does have a panel that I really like, and I got issue one of Batman Year One by Frank Miller. I, I really don't like this book. Like really super, <laughs> super don't like it. And maybe I'll get into that eventually, but it's a little bit um, blasphemous, I think, to not like that book in particular. 
the truth is I don't like a lot of the very popular Batman stories. I don't know why. I wish I did. I feel like I'm really missing out, not going crazy for some of these, these bigger ones, but I do have that because that has a page that I really like. If, uh, if you're curious, it's the, uh, part at the end where Bruce, he's, uh, bleeding out and he's, he stumbles into his house, uh, and he's sitting in his chair and he has the thought of, I can let myself die here, just bleed out and go. Or if I ring that little bell, Af Alfred's going to come get me and he'll patch me up and I won't die. And he's just contemplating what to do in the moment and with himself. It's when he decides to become Batman. Very cool. Don't like Frank Miller as a guy, but that is excellent. Next, uh, we went to Half Price Books and we had some credits. We were trading some stuff in. I got Multiverse. Hey, I don't know how to say it. Multiversity by Grant Morrison. I just heard about it really recently and I wanted to check it out. I don't actually know anything about it, so I can't tell you. But I also got Supergirl World Women of Tomorrow by Tom King, which I believe is supposed to be the inspiration for the new Supergirl movie they're, they're going to do with the new rebooted DC. I'm not positive, uh, but I thought I'd read it. Now, I, I have the pile of my the rest of my birthday books, and here's the thing. They're in... The order in which I read them and it doesn't matter if they stay in that order and I know that in my heart I know that but I don't want to get them out of order because they're all stacked just perfectly how I read them and I want to eventually do a video of my TBR and they don't have to be in order then too it doesn't matter so many things that I worry about don't matter at all does it make me worry less no there is no reasoning with me so I'm going to show you these books and mess up the order and accept that that is happening because it's fine. It's fine. Book number one, I I guess this is a spoiler for some of the ones I got. I should have taken them out of order and it would have made them easier to display. This is Night Terrors, Nocturnal Creatures. There was an event very recently in DC where a new bad guy made all the DC characters fall asleep and he's traveling through their nightmares basically looking for a stone like a it, it looks like this it's a, it's a skull I'm not pleased with the inside of these by the way because each one for because there's a uh, five books that go along with this five hardcovers and they're all just a different color skull and I think that was really lazy considering typically they try really hard with the inside of the hardcovers like for example the next one like this is a different series, but like, I mean, how do you do? When you have so many good variant covers, how do you pick that? Doesn't matter. That doesn't have anything to do with this. Anyway, uh, Nocturnal nocturnal Creatures. This is, uh, the, this is the collection of kind of the villain's nightmares. They separate it. There's like the series proper, which is like the core story, which I guess I'll, I'll hold up that one. This book is the core of the event. It's got the free comic book day story in it, which you don't need to read, but it does kind of kick it off. It's Damien. And then it has basically just the characters going through and defeating the monster that is making them live in their nightmares. But this one is no one in particular necessarily. It's a lot of dead man who I actually really like. He's very small on here for some reason. He's a huge part of the story. So if you like Dead Man, I very, very much recommend you get this. This is so heavy on him. And you probably <laughs> don't necessarily know who Dead Man is, but I didn't know who he was until like a year or something ago either. He's very cool. He's also heavily featured in season two of the Batman Continues. Uh, he He's great. This is like the first time I had actually read anything with him and he's he's very funny him and batman have a pretty fun dynamic he takes over batman's body in this new one but yeah okay so this is like the villain one i did not get the teen titans one i did not get the superman one despite my deep love for superman i read his two issues and didn't care too much for him and these are kind of expensive so i had to pick and choose obviously i had a pretty good birthday i got every comic on my list but 
I'm trying to be more careful with which ones I get because of room and stuff. But anyway, this one's the Villains. It has uh, two issues basically for most of the characters. So it's got Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, Joker, uh, Zatanna, who I believe is, she's like a, not a witch. She's, she's kind of, as far as I've seen, very, um, performer-y. I, I feel so bad if someone watches this who's a, who's a fan of her, because I don't know anything about her. But she's, she's really cool looking, but I don't know anything about her. She's on the cover of, of this one if this helps you get a vibe, but I haven't read her story yet, so I can't even tell you what it's about. And then also it has Punchline, who I hate a lot. She's Joker's new girlfriend. She annoys me to no end. I do not enjoy seeing her, even though she's got a cool design. I just don't care about her. But if you are interested in any of those stories, or the Joker one, and it's very good, but it's the only one I've read. The Joker one, his nightmare is that he kills Batman. And that sucks for him. <laughs> and I think it's very funny. But I also got the, I guess this is technically the Batman one. Uh, by the way, they blew it having this cover because the pre-order cover was this amazing variant. It's like one of the most beautiful pieces I've ever seen in my entire life. And they decided to do that picture instead, which admittedly is a very gorgeous picture, but it is not as gorgeous as what was on the pre-order listing, which is this. It was just this stunning piece. Uh, Francesco Mattina, I hope I'm saying that right. It's just, it's so good. It's so good. And that was supposed to be the cover, but it wasn't. But here are the characters for this one, if you're interested. It is Batman, Catwoman, and then it says Detective Comics, but it's Jim, Jim Gordon. Uh, Nightwing and Robin, which for the Robin one, it is... Tim Drake splitting it with Jason Todd. So they don't each, they don't get their own, but they are teamed up for the Robin one. So if you uh, like any of those characters, this is the bind up. And the Teen Titans one has, I think, one for each of the Teen Titans. And then Mary from Shazam and Black Adam, I believe, get stories in that. And the Superman one has Clark and Kara zor -El. Wonder Woman, The Flash. I don't know if anyone else gets one, but they have a really uh, clear list of every single issue in the event if you go to the DC website, if you're if you're interested. But also in the description for each of the books when you search Night Terrors, it'll tell you exactly who's in it. So if you like some characters you don't, you can figure out what you want to do. Also, if you want to get these, they're only in hardcover right now. They're like I think 30 or something dollars, 30 to 40 dollars on Amazon. There are 18 to 23 dollars on cheapgraphicnovels.com, which is where I get them. Uh, they are shipped very well. This I'm not sponsored. God, I wish I was, but I'm not. But cheap graphic novels, if you go there, it is nine dollar shipping, but I have never received a damaged comic from them ever. They ship it so carefully and beautifully. And every single book I've ever gotten from them has been in really good condition. Like, they, I think they check them before they send them. So even though it's an extra $9 shipping, if you're getting multiple comics, it's cheaper than Amazon and just way better because Amazon sends their stuff in those loose boxes and they knock around. So tangent, I'm sorry. I also got <laughs> Detective Comics, the new one, Volume 2, Gotham Nocturne, Act 1. Uh, it says Act 1, but it's Volume 2 of the New Detective Comics. Ram V is the author. He's doing the run right now. It's really hard to explain these, so I won't. It's very, I would say, operatic. It's it's pretty big, and the art is very pretty and impactful. It's It's just a lot to deal with, I think, is the best way to describe it, if you are interested. Uh, I, I have volume one. My dad got it for me for my birthday. It's, uh, it's a lot. I'm sorry I'm rambling. If Sarah loved me and cared about me and was here, she would keep me from rambling. But it's two in the morning and she decided to sleep. So I guess that tells you everything you need to know about who she is as a person. Anyway, next I got Something is Killing the Children, volume seven. This is James Tiny in the fourth. I believe four, yeah. He does a lot of Batman that I'm 
kind of iffy on, but this series is magnificent. I have been waiting for this book for a really long time. Cannot tell you anything about this issue because it is the seventh, obviously. There is a new spinoff, I think, that I just found out about. Uh, that's, I believe, a one-off, and then he's got the House of Slaughter spinoff. So these are very <laughs> graphic and gruesome. Uh, to sum up the series, it's about monsters that kill children and a girl who hunts the monsters and kills them. I would definitely say it's very, very graphic with violence. So if you have a problem with seeing people get ripped apart, especially specifically children, I would not recommend. If you can handle that and you think it sounds cool, it's it's a very cool book. Not if you think that slaughtering children sounds cool. I don't think that sounds cool. That sounds bad. And, and Erica, the main character, kills the monsters that hurts kids. So she's cool. Not the children death. Anyway, some Nightwing books. I, if you have watched any of my things recently, you'll know I'm trying to get into Nightwing, aka Dick Grayson. I bought volume one of his Tom Taylor run and I really enjoyed it. So I bought volume two, three, and four. Here is two. Beautiful. I really love the art because they do this thing where in a lot of the pictures you see him multiple times in it. Like you see to convey movement, I guess. It's just very, it's very neat and I like it. And then here's volume four. And but that's volume three. Just kidding. It's, it's really late. We just changed times. The clock went forward an hour, so I didn't sleep. Please be nice to me. Volume actual four. A lot of characters in it. They were all very fun. I like them a lot. There's a puppy in it. And it's just a good time. It's a great time. Highly recommend. I am very pleased with the outcome of my Dick Grayson journey. And I will update. I have to read Dark Victory again. But it's it's going good so far. All the new Dick Grayson I've read has been great. Next book, I promise we're almost done. Batman Season 3, The Adventure Continues. This is Alan Burnett and Paul Dini a little bit. If you don't know what this is, the Batman animated series was on in the early 90s. Uh, it started before I was born. And uh, they ran for a few seasons. It's where Harley Quinn comes from. It's where a lot of things that you know about Batman basically were kind of like really solidified here and they just started doing a continuation in comic book form. This is the third volume. The second volume I believe had Court of Owls. The first one had Jason Todd. This one I don't really know. Uh, there's a lot of Al Ghul stuff in here basically. Uh, I, I would say this is my least favorite of the three, if I'm being perfectly honest. I do enjoy these. They're not the bestest thing ever because Paul Dini was writing the show, so they were great. And he's helping with these, but he's not super involved. So it was still fun. If you like the cartoon, you'll probably enjoy these. And they also have omnibuses of the original Adventure Continues uh, comic books. Those have, I think, from the 90s, the comics from the one they did it before. It was way back in the day. And those are all bound up. Last but not least, I, I got Dark Knights of Steel by Tom Taylor, which as far as I know about Tom Taylor, he, he likes to do kind of silly little what if sort of things. And this is what if the DC characters were all from medieval times. It's basically everything you'd expect from that, but not in a bad way. Just like, you know, Superman is the prince and his parents are the king queen but it's not martha or john it's his actual his birth parents and that's not a spoiler it happens immediately they don't die and you see it and then bruce is a knight and harley is obviously a court uh, jester jester court jester uh constantine is in this there's a lot of there's a lot of very fun little twists to it. Some, some, I will not spoil it because they're very spoilery. There's a fun twist with Bruce and Clark in it that I would like you to find out on your own. But, uh, it's just, it's just neat. It's just cute. It's very fun. So if you're kind of a stickler for not wanting your characters or anything to be messed with, like you're very strictly, you want to go canon, wouldn't recommend it. But if you enjoy stuff like Deceased or, uh, DC versus Zombies, things like that, then I think 
you'd probably enjoy this. I believe one of those, Tom Taylor did Deceased. So again, I know Tom Taylor is a little hit or miss for some people. I really enjoy everything I have read from him so far. He also did Injustice, which is another, it feels like Elseworlds, but they don't call it that anymore. So I would, I guess I would categorize this as an Elseworlds. And it's just, it's really cute. Uh, there's, there's some fun stuff. I keep saying fun as if I really have to hammer home that it's fun. And to me, it's coming off from saying fun as if like that's saying you shouldn't take it seriously and it's goofy and corny. And it is goofy and corny a little bit because it's silly to watch them be from Arthur times. And I know that there's probably a word for Arthur times. I'm not going to look it up. I don't know. It's very late. The point being very, very neat little book. I like, f I like fun little twists like that. It kind of makes me think a little bit of, I guess they're the same family of like Batman White Knight, which is a more serious Elseworldsy thing. If you want something that is not the normal Bruce and Clark canon, but it's close, I would recommend like Earth One. Earth One is kind of like a new take on the original Batman story. I think they have uh, Earth One for Wonder Woman and for Superman. I'm not positive. But if, if the, these kinds of Elseworlds, these more silly concept ones, don't do it for you, I, I would recommend Earth One. There's three volumes of Batman, I believe, and it's basically Batman remixed a little bit. Like, his mom is related to the Arkhams, and it's things like that. It's like a lot of little changes, but it makes it very interesting. And then if you want one that's also a more serious take on a new sort of lore, I would maybe go with Batman White Knight by Sean Murphy. That one is a little more like the Earth one is a just like kind of random Batman stories, but there's an actual plot, like a straightforward plot and arc for White Knight, which is that Joker becomes sane. So if you like the twisty ones, but want them a little more serious, I would recommend those. But if you like the silly ones, this, this is really fun. And then I would go with also Deceased, which is the zombie one. And then DC versus Vampires, which admittedly, I didn't really love past volume one. Deceased stayed pretty solid throughout. And I'm not sure about the... Dark Knights of Steel, but I'm holding out hope. I'm going to hopefully read that soon, pretty quick, but okay. That was everything that I have for my birthday haul, book-wise. Thank you for sticking through all of my ramblings. When I don't have Sarah here, it's really hard to reel myself in, and I'm trying to learn how to do these videos alone. So if you did bear with me, thank you very much. I'm doing my best to navigate this by myself. So if you enjoyed this video, it would be great if you liked it or commented below. I'd love to hear if you did ever read any of the comics I recommend. I really, really want to hear what you thought of them. I, even if you didn't like it, I would love to get your opinions because I don't know anyone in my personal life who reads comics but me for the most part. So I would love to talk with you or just, just to see what you think. You don't have to wait for me to reply with something dumb. I'm not great at replying. If I don't reply to you, it's not because I'm ignoring you. It's because I never check the comments because it's like a whole different app. And again, I apologize for rambling. I don't know how to stop myself. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.